Good morning, St. Thomas More, and happy Wednesday. Just a couple announcements for you this morning. First one, that we do have some snow on the ground. It is essential that you leave that snow on the ground and keep it outside, okay? We're not to be throwing snowballs in the building or moving snow into a building. If you're doing that, school consequences will be issued. Now, it's that time of the year I need to talk to you about exams. I often uh, refer to exams like running a marathon. Uh, you've gone past the 20 mile mark, there's a definite wall at the 20 mile mark. You're down at mile 25. You can see the finish line, but you're not quite there yet. About 500 more meters to go to get to that finish line. You have people there cheering for you. You have your teachers providing the support that you need. Uh, you're submitting your assignments, you're doing your job and preparing yourself uh, for those final exams. You only have a few hundred meters left to go, so make sure that you are taking that time to study and make sure you're prepared for the final examinations uh, that start on Friday. So the following information is going to be brought to your attention to help you bring semester one to a successful conclusion and provide you with valuable information for the first day of semester two. The last day of regular classes is tomorrow. We are on a 12 noon dismissal. If you take the school bus, school buses will be riding here promptly at noon. Final exams begin on Friday. They start with period one exams on Friday. Monday we have period two exams. Tuesday we have period three exams. Wednesday we have period four exams. And Thursday we have period five exams. The following Friday is a professional activity day. If you do not have a final exam, you have lunch or you have met the criteria for the demonstration of learning, you are not to come to school that day, you are to stay home from school. If you are coming to school to get extra help from a teacher or from student success, you make sure that you are in full uniform. Exams are full uniform days. No spirit wear should be worn on examination day. Please arrange for someone to pick you up after your exams as buses are running at regular time. So when your examination is finished, make sure that you have arranged a ride for someone to come pick you up. You're not loitering around our hallways and our cafeterias, disturbing other exams are taking place. Some exams or billings are two and a half hours. They do require quiet. Now, the most important information, in the event of a school closure or cancellation of transportation, the schedule will be delayed one day. That means if you had exams scheduled on a Wednesday, that exam would be moved to the Thursday and all the other exams would move back one day. Okay? If an emergency occurs at school, such as a power failure, a termination will be made on the day of exam to proceed or not. Should the exam not be able to continue, the schedule will be delayed by one day. All students must be in full uniform dress code, and as I said, when you leave your examination room, make sure that you leave it quickly and you're not roaming the halls and you're not making any unnecessary uh, noise within our building, okay? On the first day of the semester, which is Monday, February 5th, we are going to be running an abbreviated timetable. Semester two classes are gonna take place in the morning. Semester one classes will take place in the afternoon. Please note that the expectations that students will remain for the entire period and it is a full uniform day. So on that note, make sure you're taking the time to make sure you're prepared to write your final exams. Make sure when you come to your examination day that you have everything that you need, your calculators, your pens, your, your pencils and that stuff. No electronic devices will be permitted in the examination room. If you have your phone, leave it in your backpack, leave it in your locker. If the teacher asks you to put the phone on their desk, you should comply to those requests. No ear pods or any headsets will be allowed in the examination room. So no technology of any kind except the calculator you are permitted to use uh, by your classroom teacher. On that note, I wish you a wonderful day and good luck with your final exams. Thank you. Good morning, St. Thomas More. My name is Joshua. And my name is Aaron, and here are your announcements for today. This is a reminder that Breakfast Club runs every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in the CAP from 7.45 to 8 a.m. Come out and get your healthy breakfast snacks. This is a reminder to anyone interested in playing senior football. 
We'll be having a sign up and a brief meeting tomorrow immediately after the school intellectual hall. The junior girls volleyball team will return to action tonight at Cathedral. Please be there by 4.30. Go Knights! This announcement is for all students with an IEP. Please check your school email for important exam information from your resource teachers. And now for your sports. Last night, our novice girls volleyball team solidified their first place spot with a win against BT. Excellent effort by the whole team. Players, please note that tonight's practice is canceled and we ask that you use this time to rest up, study, and prepare for playoffs. Thanks from your coaches, Ms. Tillotson and Ms. Berkeley. Last night, your novice boys basketball team settled the score with BT and a tremendous effort on both ends of the floor secured the win 52-48. to Last night, your junior boys basketball team picked up their 10th win of the season by defeating BT 66-56. to It was a total team effort. Constantino Bistis had a game high of 21 points and Isaiah Bernard chipped in with 14. With, your win, uh, with the win, your junior Knights have secured second place in the city with home court advantage for the playoffs. The team is back in action after exams hosting the prestigious Father Kennedy Tournament on February 2nd. It's night time. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. Hey STM, I'm Nina. And I'm Samantha here with your student council announcements. Attention grade 11s and 12s, prom will be taking place on March 7th. Join us for a night in Paris at Carmen's Banquet Center for this year's prom. Tickets will be on sale starting this Friday, January 29th, so make sure you get them before they're all sold out. And nights, just a reminder that this is not the same thing as your grad. We will be announcing grad at a later date, so stay tuned for that. That's all STM. Make sure to follow us on our Instagram at STM underscore council. Have a good day, Knights. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.22, and remember, it's a great day to be a Knight.